Hello, uh, we are two dumb people that will be <laughs> ranking the upcoming anime of Winter 2024. Um... Why are we doing this? Are we qualified? No, no, no. We, we not. are definitely not, uh, <laughs> not qualified. Uh, I, I just want to, yeah. We, we just want to have some fun. So let's do this. Yes. Let's start off. We are, we so are. we're going to be doing hopefully every single one. Uh, we're going to be ranking them on must watch, maybe, and then not going to bother. Uh, uh -huh. So Ali will be talking about Ishira. Go on, Ali. Right. Speak I this. have no idea what this is from the from the looks mm -hmm. of it. It's. Oh, it's it's. I mean, it's an isekai with gore. I I do like myself some isekai and. Some it is gore. done by Passion though. Passion is done by School DxD. Synopsis. Well, the Demon King has died. A host of demigods capable of felling him have inherited the world. A master fencer who can figure out how to take out their opponents with a single glance. A lancer so swift they can break the sound barrier. A vivern rogue who fights with three legendary weapons at once. Ayo Zoro. <laughs> Uh, an all-powerful wizard who can speak through thoughts into being, and an angelic assassin who deals instant death. Eager to attain the title of true hero, these these champions each pursue challenges against formidable foes and spark conflicts amongst themselves. The battle to determine the mightiest of the mighty begin. Sounds like a death game isekai. That's yeah, what it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, death game isekai. Yeah. But you know that god, these angels, like ten angels that fight against you to become god. Oh, Platinum Man. Yeah, it's Platinum not that, Man. Uh, it, it's, it sounds I, like that, uh, kind of. I, I would say, for me, this is a maybe. I've looked at who the cast is. Uh, the cast is pretty stacked. So for this, the, me personally, it's a maybe. I don't know if for you, if it's a maybe or not. I mean, I would watch it just because of the isekai and gore. I'm not sure right, if so I'm going to keep watching. I'll watch the first episode and find. We'll so, so it's a maybe. It's a maybe. It's, it's, it's a, a maybe. maybe. Yeah. All right. Next one. Classroom of the Elite season yeah. three. <laughs> um, I enjoyed the first season. Uh, the second season started off slow. Uh, but it did get way better being the second half and i'm going to put this as a must watch this is definitely must a watch. must watch yeah i mean i've watched the first two seasons the third one is gonna be obviously i'm watching it it is an actually really nice show next one it's the second yeah, season okay. for this i have no idea what this is oh so, i have uh, it's jacky okay. chara Tomazaki san the actual synopsis of the first season is if a smash bros player decided hey yo i'm gonna get a life so <laughs> goes to a woman and you know beauties himself up is, is that so you? that I swear to God, <laughs> man. <laughs> but anyway, um, I enjoyed the first season, and I've done a bit of reading, and I saw what the second season is going to entail. I'm going to put it as a maybe because the first season, where it was decent, um, there were certain moments where it was slow. So this is for me is a as a maybe. As as a maybe, yeah. The next one, Ali. Uh, uh, yes, of course. It's a, it's an edgy uh, anime. Maho Sozo Ai Akugarate, gushing over magical gods. I know the synopsis for this. I've already read it. Um, so Hiragi Utana Utena uh, has always looked up to magical girls and fantasized about transforming into a cool heroine who fights evil. So when a doll-like figure approaches her one evening, claiming that she has magical powers lying dormant within, she trembles in excitement. But a colorful mm -hmm. dream is is quickly shattered in an ironic turn of events when she transforms into a villain. Yo. Dis disinterested in associating with the forces of evil, she tries to quit when a group of magical girls appear and declare war. A battle ensures, and Hiragi soon discovers that she enjoys inflicting pain on others as her true nature starts to emerge. Mm -hmm. So, it is an ecchi, but it's not an ecchi as in ecchi ecchi. It's a... It's more etchy in the sense that of um, killing bites was etchy. It, it, it's like saying, showing provocative stuff, but it's not like proper etchy. Um, I don't. I, I haven't read the manga. Um, for me, this is a must watch. Uh, Ali, I'm assuming it's a maybe for him. <laughs> maybe, may, maybe. <laughs> that for me, that's a must watch. Yeah. Uh, this is another etchy uh, anime. Right. Chain Soldier, Mato Shihi no Slave. When entrances to a different dimension known as the Mato emerge all over Japan, a new resource known as Peaches are discovered which gives unique abilities only to women. Interesting. However, dangerous monster, monsters called Yomitsu Shui, Shuki also Shuki. roam throughout the Mato and have been responsible for various disasters ever since. To combat them, the government has formed the Anti-Demon Corps. An elite group of women who have received power from the peaches. One day, a high school student named Yuki Waka 
Wakura was walking home from school when he suddenly got lost in a Mato entrance. When he calls for help, he is immediately rescued by Koyuka Uzen, the chief of the seventh unit of the anti-demon corps. Recognizing his potential while also needing him to make her peach power more effective, she asks that Yuki join the anti-demon corpse by becoming her slave, a position he might find more enjoyable than he initially thought he would have. Alright, so this is Echi in Sensei, isn't Echi? Um, it's the... <sighs> it, it reminds me of Freezing. It reminds, uh, me, of know what it reminds me of Dead Alive. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't know what freezing was or Mas uh, Masao Gakuin HXH, um, it's about a guy that gets his powers by doing lewd stuff to women. I've seen a few videos talk about this, and honestly, it sounds like fun. It's a maybe, a hundred percent maybe. I need to see if they're going to do an uncensored or censored version. I hate censored. <laughs> that's your what your baby's based on. <laughs> yeah, that's my baby. That's so what you, my baby's based on. You need on. your uncensored. I need my own sense. I'm not watching that. I hate this. Man of culture. I am a man of culture. <laughs> and now this one's... Sasaki Torpitan. I've read, I've read this one already. Um, but, um, it's from Silverlink, so I have hope for it. Yeah, I've I've read the cast. I know who's doing. So we got Gin Toki's voice actor, Yo. Uh, Yuka Tomokazu, our Yuki made in spider sound cute. Uh, Minase Inori, who's Hestia, Kito Akari, who's Nezuko. So is it is a it is a stacked cast. Even though Sas uh, Sasuke draws corporate life into a constant field with uh, with work, it leaves him tired and unf uh, unfulfilled at the end of every day. In search of some companionship to fill the emptiness in his life, he visits a pet shop on a whim, not realizing he's about to change his life forever. After setting it on an adorable bird and bringing it home, his new mate reveals that it's actually an incredible sage from another world who promptly bestows Sasuke with supernatural powers as well as the ability to cross between worlds. All Sas Sasuke wants to do is use his newfound powers to live in peace and comfort, but there are more than a few colorful characters who might get in the way of that. So. It's technically an isekai. Honestly, I, I am looking forward to this. Uh, I'm going to put this as a must watch. I love my comedy. It reminds me of Isekai Oji san. Um, yeah, isekai so Oji san. I, yeah, I, I'm going to put this as a must watch. I, I would you? definitely watch it as well. I mean, Isekai yeah. comedy and fantasy, it's 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 a definitely a must watch. My instant... Another Isekai? And, the, and there's a chat. Another Isekai, yo, how many is this now? Three? This, uh, this, this is the third one. This is the third one, yeah. My instant death ability is so overpowered, no one in this other world stands a chance against me. Okay, uh, go it's a goated Isekai anime. You know, I love myself some goated Isekai anime. Aw uh -huh. Awaking to absolute chaos and carnage while on a school trip, Yogi Takato discovers that everyone in his class has been transported to another world. He had somehow managed to sleep through the entire ordeal himself, missing out on the gift, powers bestowed upon the others by a mysterious sage who appeared to transport them. Even worse, he and another classmate were ruthlessly abandoned by their friends, left as bait to distract a nearby dragon. Although not ter 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 terribly bothered by the thought of dying, he reluctantly decided to protect his lone companion. After all, a lowly level 1000 monster doesn't stand a chance against his secret power to invoke instant death with a single thought. If he can stay awake long enough to bother using it, that is. So wait, what well, is Maybe this? I, this death uh, note without the without the book? Is this is what it yeah, is? Yeah, but it sounds so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> like I thought it, so you died, and I'm like, oh god, I'll give it a chance. I'll watch a couple of episodes. So I yeah. thought it's a, a, a lowly level 1,000 monster. Yeah, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna put it as a maybe one. I yeah, I would do this one instead. Okay. This is called the Dim Prince of Momoti House. Uh, Momoti Sansi no Ayakashi Oji. Oh, okay. So from the synopsis alone, it sounds like uh, the bread and breakfast uh, anime and uh, mythology. the other one that reminds me of it. Anyway, on her 16th birthday, Himari Momoti receives a letter stating she has inherited a mansion called the Momoti House, Peach House. Having been raised in an orphanage, the mansion is the only thing left of her real family. So Himari pays no mind of the rumours and uh, that it may be haunted. Upon entering it, she meets Aoi Nanamori uh, and his companions. So Aoi Nanamori is a man, Ise and Yukari, uh, who all seem to be squatting in a new ho home. Uh, 
Uh, although they warn her to leave the house, Himari vows to be the one to make them leave instead. But Shunshi is attacked by a yokai and finds out that the house uh, sits on the space between the worlds of the living and the spirit realm. Even more surprising, Aoi was chosen to be the guardian of the house, a position originally meant for Himari. But this great, uh, with, but this great power came with it an awful price. Aoi can never leave the mansion, and his, and his existence in the human world has been erased. Oh, Aoi's a man, he marries a girl. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ignoring <laughs> <laughs> his pleas for her to leave the mansion, Himari promises to help break, uh, help Aoi break the house bound curse as she begins living under the same roof as him. All right. So, for me, it reminds me of the Bren Breakfast uh, uh, one and the. It reminds me of that. So, if it's going to follow the same kind of themes, I probably will watch it. So, I'll put it as a maybe. I want to see what's going on. Uh, so I want to see that. So I'm assuming again it's a maybe for you, right? Yeah, may- maybe for me. Ponno Michi. Nash Nashi Jipensha. A high school girl living in Onomichi City. Hiroshima Onomichi. Prefecture was in trouble after being kicked out of her house. She said, I don't have a place to hang out with my friends. When Naoko learned that the parlor that her father used to run was now vacant she decided to rebuild it into a place where everybody could gather uh, basically D- DIY? Every, yeah it's basically a cute good girl does a cute thing anime um uh, again it's gonna be a maybe i'll see how fun it is because i enjoy sometimes these kind of shows like watch the rock uh do K-On. it yourself there was also do it do, do it yourself do it yourself very uh nice. no Saki Death Car. so there are animes that have done this before and are successful, so I'll, I'll say again yeah. a maybe. I, I, this is a maybe. Yeah. It, it yeah. depends on how wholesome, I guess, they make it. The next one is... Tales of <laughs> Wedding re- Rings. It's an yeah. itchy anime. Kekon Yubiwa Monogatari. Um, I'm going to put this as a must-watch straight away because I've seen the trailer for this. And okay. the cr- character design looks crisp. Oh my god, this, the character design looks so good. Sato has uh, been in love with his childhood friend and neighbour, Hime, ever since she and her grandfather appeared out of nowhere 10 years ago. Now a dazzling and mysterious high school beauty, she makes it more and more difficult for him to confess his feelings. As the anniversary of their first meeting is nearing, uh, will he muster up the courage to transform their friendship to something more? Or will an entire different fate await the tightly bounded pair? bonded pet all right spoilers um she presents a wedding ring and a kiss to him in the in the first episode so uh of course, of course. tales of wedding I, rings i am a huge rom-com fan uh this is going to be a rom-com uh with some power fantasy this involved is... as well as East. it's an isekai as well you know harem For... isekai etchy and action and yeah. romance it, this, is, this, this is this this is all my trashy taste into one alley okay all... <laughs> i don't care what you say that's a must watch <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll, we'll give it the stamp For the next one the wrong way to use healing magic all right oh. every time a healing magic appears appeared i would think a redo of healer and that's not a good sign <laughs> ken usato is a normal high schooler in every sense of the word average grades dreams and a tendency to dislike extraordinary people basically sooner but sure however when he encounters the president and the vice president of the student council both popular and extraordinary he immediately befriends them all of this is interrupted when Ken's new friends are summoned into another world, another isekai, and he accidentally gets summoned as well. Dejected and with no way to return, he resigns himself to stay quietly in the new world until he finds out that he has an affinity for healing magic, a very rare form of magic which gives him both self-confidence and the attention of all mages. However, not all attention is good, which is something Ken realizes when he is noticed by a crazy fellow healing magic user. Oh, another isekai about an overpowered fantasy character. I'm gonna say a maybe again. Yeah, a may- a maybe. it's a maybe. Next one is a sign of affection. Yubisaki Torenren. Uh, Yuki Tose is a hearing impaired university student whose world has been abroad, uh, shrouded with silence since birth. She has lived in the same place her whole life and rarely interacts with others save for her best friend Urin Fujishiro. Fujishiro being oh god, Megumin Fujishiro. Oh god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> flashbacks. Urin, oh, I'm having Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Urin Gokumut one day she meets the silver haired. Uh, and multilingual Isonomi 
Itsuomi Nagi, a mutual friend of Rin. Unlike most, Itsuomi is unwavering and when he learns of Yuki's impairment. This, along with his experience abroad, fascinates and touches her. After they part, her fondness of him starts to grow. A new world begins to open for both Yuki and Itsumi uh, as they learn to about each other's different life. All right, this is a rom com, right? Yeah, and it, it sounds like it sounds like me. This is a part of me. Uh, it's just the romance. I'm gonna put it. I don't know this is a must watch. Like. This is a this is a must watch for me. Uh, I mm -hmm. don't know. There's only one person in the cast I recognize, and that's Toyama now. Oh no, I know Honda Kaide as well. I don't like Toyama now. Mm -hmm. um, Honda Kai, I do like. I'm gonna put this as a must watch. I do like an adult cast rom com as well. This is a shoujo as well, so you don't get that many as well. And then there's Blue Exorcist, of course. All right. Uh, it's the third so, season. But, I haven't watched yeah, this, not, so not, I have no we're idea. Not, we're, not, we're not gonna ponder about this. I'm not gonna watch Blue Exorcist season three. Reason why is I thought, look, if they're gonna do the third season of Blue Exorcist, but the third season it takes place before the first season's ending, just ah. make a remake of Blue Exorcist and include all the actual contents of it i'm not gonna watch this i've read the manga i'm not gonna bother i enjoyed the first season did not bother with the second season so i am not going to watch it uh, oh god here's another <laughs> the strongest <laughs> that's, that's a light novel title if i've ever seen one it's a light novel title. so the strongest tank uh, labyrinth raids a tank with a rare 999 resistance skill got kicked out from the hero's party right this really just reminds you of banish from the hero's party this is what it is isn't it yeah oh, yeah God. banish from the hero party i i started a peaceful life it is a tank of the hero's party and said to have the highest defense ever in history the party often does labyrinth raids but to run it means more than just to raid. Just to raid. Chikyo is below sister's illness. Of course, it's going to be a sister. Uh, it's a sister complex anime. His... Yes, another one. He's in search for his wish granting treasure that might be hidden in those labyrinths. But one day, this arrogant hero kicks him from the party after an unsuccessful raid, blaming it on his skills, whose effect uh, he is still unaware of. Without nowhere else to go and nothing to do, he decides to return to his hometown, where his sister is waiting. On the way there, he saves a girl who is being attacked by a monster. Unexpectedly, this girl has an extreme rescue skill called Appraisal. Thanks to her skill, Rod is able to discover the truth behind his unknown skill, which turns out to be a very powerful skill. With a defense of 9,999 and a powerful skill, thus begins the adventure of the strongest tank Rod. Again, this is a maybe. It sounds pretty average. Mm -hmm. I'll see how it goes. It's not an easy guy. It's just a fantasy, I'm pretty sure. Just, yeah, yeah it, it is just a, just a uh, fantasy, maybe. I, I probably will enjoy it. Seventh time <laughs> loop. <laughs> the villainous enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy. Japanese title is Loop 7 Kame no Akuyaku Reju wa Moto Tekoku di Jiyu Kimama no Hana Yome Sekatsu wa Mangetsu Suru. That's a long title. Is, is this another light novel title? This is definitely another light novel. Yeah. God. Being born once may sound impressive, but Rishi is already on her seventh time around. She has had all kinds of excitements in her previous lives, from peddling goods as a merchant to locking blades as a knight, so now she's determined to kick back and enjoy. But to savor the high life, she first has to marry the handsome prince, the same one who happens to be her murderer. It will take six plus lifetimes of experience and skills for Rishi to break the time loop and make her extravagant dreams come true. Reminds me of Akulas. <sighs> oh god. Of what? Right. Akulas is the one where he, she. Oh, it is um, a light novel. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm I'm gonna say this as a maybe again. Like I, I'm very abrasive at the minute. I want to watch these kind of shows. I don't have the time, so these are why they may be. So mm -hmm. yeah, this is, this is a maybe again. Yeah. Um, it depends on how enjoyable they make it, right? Yeah, if, they, if the two main casts are enjoyable to watch, I'll give it an end. I like rom-coms, this is a rom-com. Right, so I have the honor to talk about this anime. Oh. Let's do this. So this is uh, Solo Leveling, uh, Ore Dake, Level Up Na Ken. Now, unfortunately, the uh, author has passed away for this one. So I'm yes. hoping that um, A1 Pictures can give it some justice. Um, so... I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Soul Leveling is at this point. It's a very popular manhwa that's getting adapted into an anime adaptation. So let's do this. 
Ten years ago, the gate appeared and connected the real world with the realms of magic and monsters. To combat these valbies, ordinary people received superhuman powers beca and became known as hunters. 20-year-old Sung Jin Ryu is one of the hunters. My Japanese is better than my Korean, I will say that much. <laughs> uh, but he is known as the world's weakest, owing uh, to his pathetic power compared to even the measly E rank. Still, he hunts monster monsters tirelessly in low rank gates to pay for mother his mother's medical bills. Nice man. However, this miserable lifestyle changes when Jinry believing himself to be the only one left to die in a mission gone terribly wrong, awakens in a hospital three days later to find a mysterious screen floating in front of him. This quest log, well, I don't know why it says in quotation marks, but yeah, demands that Jinry completes an unrealistic and intense training program or face the appropriate penalty. Initially reluctant uh, to comply because of quest rigor, Jinry soon finds that it may transform him into one of the world's most fearsome hunters this has romance in i know that much the manhwa is completed so i've not read the manhwa i've been waiting for the anime adaptation since it got announced so i skipped over the manhwa this is a must watch uh, it's definitely a must watch yeah like, kingdom kingdom is i've only watched season one but but i thought you watched it two as well i haven't watched the second one yet i will be watching it um, I'm, I'm hopefully hopefully gonna catch up for the fifth season um, so Kingdom is actually very, very nice. Definitely recommend watching. Yeah. So I, I, unlike Ali, I've watched all of Kingdom, and mm -hmm. I know the man unlike the manga, the, the manga is so much better. But the, the anime is a, it, it does a real justice, and it, it doesn't get that much representation in the West as well as the East. So Kingdom is a great anime. Uh, season three beyond is where it starts to get mm -hmm. even better. Uh, season one two is is finding its footing. So. It is really good. Yeah, Kingdoms a must watch. Uh, Definitely a must watch. Yeah, yeah. The, the right, fights next one is, are amazing. The next one is. Oh, I uh, see the dangers in my heart. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this, this is a must watch as well. This like, is definitely a must watch. Okay, we're getting the good parts now. Yeah, the dangers in my heart season two. I've read the manga now, and yeah. honestly, it gets better. It just gets better. It gets more wholesome, better. See, but I, the one thing I will, the one thing I will say, these characters are fourteen, and I don't know why they oversexualize. Oh no. Them. Like, it is really annoying yeah. every time I'm trying to read some wholesome shit, and then all of a sudden, yeah, she's 14. I'm like, oh god. Yeah. The thing yeah. is, I started when I watched the first season. I was kind of hoping that it was sort of a murder mystery, well, kind of a murder anime. But then it it started off being, oh yeah, it's just a romance anime. So I had yeah. to kind of forget the murder part to actually enjoy this. Yeah. So that's a must watch from me and Ali. Yeah, definitely a must watch. All right, next one. Fluffy it's Paradise. Isekai uh, de mo 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 I, I know yo, this. I know this. Yeah. Is Isekai de mofu mofu nande nande suru kame ganbate masu. I don't. You, all of this. Okay, it stands from I'm doing my I, best to make myself my at home in another world. Uh, yeah. Akitsu Midori, 27 year old. Uh, ends up in another world after dying from overwork. Ah, uh, yes, classic. I got reincarnated in another world after God blessed me with my special with a special ability. This ability is to be loved by non-human beings, huh? <sighs> Meaning that the humans that. might not like me, but all the fluffy animals will love me. Well, <laughs> I get to pet a white tiger and dragons to my heart's content. Yes. After being reborn as Nima, the youngest daughter of a top-class noble family, I'm doing my best for the survival of humanity while enjoying this world's fluffiness. All right. I I, initial... I, I think it, it's a slice of life with an isekai and adventure. Okay. All right. All right. All right, all right. So well, first, because of the synopsis, it, it I was pondering to me just not bother with it because of that. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, you know what, maybe I, I'll give it a maybe because of that. the trailer looks a bit better. So let, we'll, next anime, and we did talk about this anime earlier. Oh God, oh God, banished, banished from, from the, the heroes, heroes party. I decided to live a quiet life in the countryside season two. I'm gonna watch it. I enjoyed the first season. There's nothing the much first, first season was nice. Yeah, I I enjoyed the first season as well. It was it was wholesome. Yeah. So uh, there's nothing really much more to say about it. I'm just gonna watch yeah. it. I'll put it, put it as a must watch. Next one. High card. Uh, I watched the first season. You didn't, did you? I, I, I did. I didn't enjoy it, so yeah. I'm not gonna watch. It. It, I, so I'm, I'm gonna... see. I, it's a maybe for me because I watched the first season. It was nice, but compared to like considering how much time I've got in the next season, it's, it's a maybe for me anyway. Oh, and next one is Tsukimichi. Tsukimichi. Okay, season okay. Two. Season, season one was very nice. I this is like a sort of a must watch. 
This is the, what's watched. It's an I isekai, enjoyed. isekai fantasy anime. Uh, and comedy. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch uh, it as well. Next one right. is the unwanted undead adventure. Is this? Alright, so no, like, Nozumanu Fushi no Bokensha. So the unwanted. It's not. A, it's not an isekai, but it is a fantasy. Yes. Um, Brent Fainer, a 25-year-old adventurer, has been hacking away at monsters for a dec decade. Without much talent for the job, Rent finds himself stuck hunting slimes and goblins for a meager amount of coins every day. Little does he know that all this is about to change when he comes across a seemingly undiscovered path in the Water Moon Dungeon. What awaits him at the end of the path? What? This, this synopsis? Okay. However, in neither... It, is, however, is neither treasures nor riches. I don't like the synopsis. But a legendary dragon that wastes no time swallowing became whole. Wake up a short time later, Rent finds himself not quite dead, but not quite very alive either. He's nothing more than a pile of bones. Armed with nothing but his trusty sword, tool belt, ghoulish ruler, Rent sets off in his quest as a newly reborn skeleton to achieve ex essential existence. Exi uh, existential evolution, hoping on one day to return to civilization with a more human form. Will Rent succeed, or will the dungeon consume him for the rest of his own death? This just reminds me of Yusha Shinida, the hero is already dead. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put it as a maybe. Maybe. Uh, uh, there's Mr. Villain's Day Off. Oh, I see. Is, is this one of those. Wait, is this. It's a web manga. Uh, is this one of those, like, slice of life bits? I think it's a comedy slice of life. I think so. Yeah. He's just more Wadu Monosan. Yeah. Ali, take As a away. member of a malev malevolent 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 organization, uh, the general is tasked with invading Earth and wiping out humanity. Even an extraterrestrial being like him, however, needs a chance to rest. <sighs> English. Not even the Rangers, a team solely dedicated to defe defeating the general with and his colleagues, will stand in the way of him visiting pandas at the zoo, <laughs> buying ice cream at the convenience store, and enjoying his well-deserved day off from committing evil deeds. Wait, is, I, is, I feel like this this gives me the same vibe as Kutsuki. Q the vampire... Is no, it reminds me more of... Um... Uh, that depressing old man that does the TV shows anime. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> what the thing on here. Um, I, I want to watch this. I, I, I do I'll want put, to watch yeah. this. I'll put it as a maybe as well. Yeah. Yeah. So the next one is Himisama Gomen no Jikan Desu. It is time for torture, princess. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm i aware of the manga. It's in Shonen. I'm pretty sure it's a Shonen manga. It, there's not really much to say about it. The synopsis is legit a line. The princess who's been held captive by the demon yeah. lord's army is scheduled to be executed by the demon lord's relentless torture. It's, a, it's, it's genres is gourmet, so it's got to do a lot with food. <laughs> yeah, it, it has. This just reminds me of the Sleep Princess uh, anime that came out a few years ago. I haven't read the manga. I know of its existence. I, uh, I will give it a maybe. That's about it. Uh, the next anime, though... I I I am gonna. Hokkaido I already know gals what I'm giving. are super I'm already, adorable. I, I already know what I'm giving this. I've read the manga. I'm up to date with the manga. Uh, I'm gonna uh, give it a must watch. I'm enjoying the fact that Ayane Sakura is going to be the main girl. I don't know how I, f I feel about others at the minute. Um the yeah. Uh, high school boy Subasa moves to Kitang. Kitami City up in Hokkaido where he meets a gal at a, at a bus stop. The sight of her standing alone against the white snowscape, bare-legged bare despite the freezing cold, captures his heart. People are going to say, oh, it's another rom-com harem anime. It's not a harem. Um, it's not even a harem. It's, it's, com it's just comedy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to explain. Um, the harem... The harem is not a harem when a girl is already front and center, center and you know what the, who's going to win. Uh, the other two girls are very nice. Uh, my favorite girl is definitely Sayuri Akino. Uh, especially before she does certain things. But she's a gamer girl. Uh, that is gamer what girl, it is. Let's I don't go. Know. So yeah, I, I, I'm going to give it a must watch. Ali, you're going to give it a must watch as well. Um, I'm <laughs> you're just telling you. me what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying this for you. Uh, you have no say in this matter. I have no say. You are, yeah. All right, the next one. I've, I've the watched Foolish the Angels Dances with well. the Devil. Okay. Oraka no Tenshi wa Akuma no 
to odoru. So the synopsis is Akutsu Masatoro is a demon who's uh, has infiltrated high school in the human world. His goal is to find candidates to aid Hell in the fight against the, their natural enemies, the angels of hen- heaven. Assigned to a seat next to Lily Amane, another student who transferred not here long, not long ago, Akatsu uh, falls prey to her beauty and decides to recruit her for his court. There's more to Lily than meets the eye, and Akatsu not only finds himself an accomplice to one of the very enemies he's supposed to defeat, but he also might develop feelings for her. Legit, it's a Romeo and Juliet story, a demon and an age of fallen love. Comedy, supernatural, That's- mythology, romantic stuff. Yeah. 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 So this yeah. is again, a, maybe. Uh, hey, yo, what is these? What are these characters? Chum and we Joe. Don't, we don't know. We'll, we'll see what <laughs> this, this is this is a maybe. Ne- next anime. Anyway. Next one. Villainous level ninety nine. I may be the hidden boss, but I'm not the demon lord. Aku aku rejo level ninety nine. Watashi wa ura boss desu ka mao de wa arimasen. A certain otome RPG takes place in the. Varshin Kingdom, where dark hair is stigmatized to an abnormal degree. Emilia, uh, Emilia Dol- Dolken. Yeah, it's Emilia, Ali. Emilia, Emila, Emil. No, it's Emilia. Emilia. Okay. E-U- yeah, 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 yeah. Sound. Yeah, it's, that's what I was saying. That's exactly what I was saying. You were saying, you were saying Emilia. I'm like, mm, no, no, no. Okay. Emilia, you, you, Emilia, Emilia. Is yeah. was, okay, Emilia Dolkness is the daughter of a count, hated from birth due to her pitch black locks, and she is also the hidden boss. In a twist of fate, at five years of age, e- Emilia recalls uh, memories of her past life in Japan. Oh, she inter- knows. Just give me, a, give me an anime when they don't. <laughs> yeah, when, when they when they don't, you know. <laughs> Uh, on, uninterested sorry. in the romance aspect of the original Goye game, she begins to dedicate herself to training her rare dark type magic. Despite this, Emilia's goals are clear. Avoid becoming the hidden boss and stay out of the limelight. Upon entering the Magic Academy, however, she shakes the foundation of the kingdom where her level 99 status comes to light. Whether a physical brawl or magic duel, her abilities are unmatched, and coupled with her black hair, she sticks out like a sore, sore thumb. To make matters worse, the original heroine became, begins suspecting she is the demon lord. Can the deadpan noble girl achieve her wishes of a peaceful life? Alright, so I'm going to give it a maybe... Um, yeah, kind so of fantasy, of course. It's uh, Jolene Cujo's voice actor for Rose Eyes doing yeah. Mean Girl. Next, Next one. one. It is Shaman King Flowers. Flowers, yeah. I'm going to say not gonna bother. I did not enjoy the remake of Shaman King, uh, so I don't plan to watch Flowers. Mm-hmm. I didn't enjoy Flowers the manga, so I don't understand why I would watch it. So nothing. Yeah. Then there's um, Twilight Rouge. I will give this a must watch already. Oh, I, okay. It's about, yeah, it's Bones. I like Bones. Bones did My Hero Academia. I'm pretty sure. Bones. Um, so we'll have a list of certain things that they've done. Yeah. They've they done, they done a lot. They did my uh, Mob Psycho as well. So, you know, I, I enjoy Bones. Um, in a world where humans and uh, androids coexist, Rouge is an android girl who is on a mission on Mars with a partner, Naomi. The mission is a murder of nine artificial humans who are hostile to the, to the government. I'm going to give it a must watch. Here's this is the next it's one. Sengoku, it's Sengoku Yoko. Yoko. Yeah. Okay. Right. Go, Ali. So, Read. Sengoku Yoko, right? The world is divided into two factions, humans and monsters, called Katawara. Despite being a Katawara, Tama loves humans and vows to protect them from evil, even if it means fighting her own kind. Her brother Jinka, however, hates humans, despite being mostly being one. The siblings are joined by a cowardly swordsman named Shinsuke, who wants to learn how to become strong. When the group uncovers a plot to experiment on humans and transform them into monsters, they vow to defeat whoever it is whoever is behind it even if it means battling an entire army of warriors the people they meet places they see and creatures they battle will be legendary that's a maybe there's nothing really much more maybe. to say yeah it, sounds, it is it is a maybe just yeah it sounds it sounds like fun it's a, it's a shonen it's an action shonen you know next one next one is gekon maso gakoku gaka oh, i put you that one gekon maso 
Kagaku, monthly uh, delusional monthly magazine. Gekko and Muso Kagaku is set in the most city or it's an unknown country. It is a small publishing house that presents prints a monthly magazine about the most outlandish of things. Everything changes when the staff of the magazine enter into Tadu Tadu and his assistant Jiro and Dog uh, Sabo Saburo uh, meet with scientist guard. Koro Sato. That just reminds me of Koro Sato. I don't want him to be here, <laughs> please. Uh, I'm not going to watch this. I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to not bother. <laughs> Is what I'm going to say. Yeah, not bother that one. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All uh, right. The the weaker the weakest tamer began a journey to pick up track. Saizaku Tema wa Gomi Hiro no Tabi wa Haji Mashita. In a, in Ivy's world, stars are everything. She's a tamer, born to subdue monsters and animals. But she was also born starless. Great. Shine like a diamond, I guess. Um with her life in danger, Ivy flees into the forest where she befriends a weak little slime named Sora. Of course it's a slime. Uh the one creature she can tame. Together, the unlikely pair set off on a journey, salvaging rubbish to survive. Along the way, they'll win hearts, even danger, and discover there's more to starless ivy than meets the eye. Right, it just reminds me of the, the Sage one where, as well, um, I'll give it a maybe. Maybe. Nothing. There's nothing showy it's, it's, about it. It is an isekai, but okay. okay. Next, next one, one is, uh, this, is done by studio, can... this is done by Studio Mappa. Yeah, it's done I, by Mappa. I have a, have a love-hate relationship with Mappa. Araji... Tomobishi gets caught up in battles among powerful individuals after reuniting with his former friend Mataka Asamine. Uh, meanwhile, the shadow of a colossal demon appears. And that's it. Uh, this reminds me of. It's a delinquent anime, so it's going to be like Beelzebub, I guess. Um, maybe, yeah. Give it a maybe. Uh, but I do think it's just going to be hot guys doing hot things, really. Uh, so, next one is Metto Isekai no Yu Kaitakuki. Around 40 onset mania no Tensei Saki wa nonbiri onsen Tengoku de Shita. Let's just read this synopsis. Let's do this. Alright. Yoshizo Yu Yukawa is a passionate hot springs enthusiast. Oh, God. We had an enthusiast before with the vending machine. He turned into oh, one. Yeah. Uh, a hot springs hunter who was able to sniff out the source of springs. One day, while searching for a hidden hot spring to revitalize his town, he slips off a cliff and dies. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Uh, let's do it. He's in reincarnated into another world by uh, a Nadi deity of a small shrine hidden in the rocks. Inari is a fox. Um, so yeah, uh, Yosh Yoshizo is joined by Inari's messenger princess, Mayudama. Okay, the hot springs hunter within Yoshizo is stirred right away as he takes a bath with Mayutama in a hot spring he just discovered. Then an earth girl appears. I'm gonna give it a maybe. I'm gonna see how it goes. <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to move on with my life. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the next one The Witch and the Beast. You've got the Beauty and the Beast. Now you've got the Witch and the Beast. Azo no Yazu. A fer feral girl with long fangs and the eyes of a beast. Ashaf, a soft-spoken man with delicate features and a coffin strapped to his back. Okay. The ominous, this ominous pair appears one day in a town that's, that's in enthrall to a witch, who has convinced the townsfolk she's their hero. But Ashaf and Guido knows better, know better. They have scores to settle, right. and they won't hesitate to remove anyone in their way. I'm going to give this a uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Because uh, Hayami Sayori is in the cast, and. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. That's your reason for maybes. <laughs> yeah, not not the plot. Just just give me Hayami Sayori. I always make it a maybe or must watch. Next next one. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, I know what this one Delicious is. Delicious in this Dungeon. One, this one got announced for last season, but then it got pushed back. Uh, dungeon dead, dungeon After the Golden Whatever. Kingdom is sunk underground by an insane magician, its king emerges, promising all the treasures to any who defeat the magician before crumbling to dust. Uh, guilds are spurred on by promise uh, by this promise traversing the labyrinth dungeon in search of the magician Lyos. the leader of one such guild encounters a dragon that wipes out his party and defiles his sister Fallen. oh my god <laughs> despite <laughs> having lost <laughs> the entirety of their supplies and belongings Lyos, along with Marcel and an elven healer and Ch Chilchok a halfling thief uh, immediately re-enter the dungeon Determined to save Fallen. Fallen is alive. <laughs> alive. <laughs> time, time being of the essence, lies suggests the 
taboo of eating the monsters of the dungeon as a means of gathering supplies. Upon the preparation for their first meal in the dungeon, they are stopped by an unlocking dwarf named Senshi, enthusiast of monster cooking. He helps them prepare their uh, monster ingredients for safe consumption. After learning of life circumstance, Senshi expresses his desire to cook a dragon and join their guild, thus beginning the food filled foray into the dungeon together. I'm going to give it a must watch. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of campfire, the Isekai Campfire one. And Trigger. Yeah, Trigger. Yeah, Trigger is doing it. It's a done yeah. cyberpunk. So, yeah, that this is a must watch. Dungeon Meshi. Alright. Okay. Next one. Mashal. Oh my god, Mashal. Yes. Please. All right, so Man Manga is so much better. Second, it's basically about a a magicless boy in a magic world. Yeah. So yeah, there's nothing really much to see. If you, if you watch the first season of Mashal, then you probably watch the second season. If you haven't watched the first season of Mashal, go back and try watching it. Try and, watching you know, it. This is def this is definitely a must watch. Uh, it, it, this is a must watch from me yeah, and Ali, but it, uh, it, it definitely it gets better in now from now on. Yeah, next me. one is Yatsura uh, uh, second season. Yeah, Urusei Yatsura second season 2022. I'm I didn't watch, watch the first this, one. But, I didn't watch the first season. Uh, this, if you if you watch the original the the, uh, the first season, this is a must watch. So yeah, I'm gonna watch it. This one is 23 episodes. I knew that the first one was supposed to be a whole year, but they split it off into two 24s. Okay. Next one is Gekai. Elise, Gekai Do Elise. Dr. Elise, the royal lady with the lamp. With the lamp, not with the lamp. <laughs> with the lamp. <laughs> Dr. Song Ji Yoon is considered a prodigy among Korean students. It is a man. Okay, yeah. Known for her skills and saving patients no matter their condition. In her past life as Elise D. Clarence, the ill mannered wife of the emperor, her jealousy and greed had led her to. Uh, to the loss of her loved ones and ultimately her death. For that reason, she vows to now save lives instead of destroying them. After a fatal, fatal pain, plane crash, Elise finds herself once again in a former body. With her previous knowledge of modern medicines and now a chance to amending her mistakes, she is determined to contribute to the emperor, empire as a medic in this life. But will Elise be able to avoid her engagement to Prince Linden de Romanoff? The man who lo ha ha that she had loved to the point of her own demise i'm gonna give it a maybe what about you yeah definitely maybe, yeah. maybe. if you agreed with us or didn't agree with us please let us know down in the comments below we will try our hardest to upload uh, every month if not we'll try more than that but anyway yep. um my i'm mo that's ali we will see you next time guys yes bye, -bye. goodbye